Esteemed faculty members, Honorable Minister, other distinguished guests, but most importantly, the graduates of Brack University. It's a real honor for me to be here, somewhat unexpected, but uh, as I thought about it, I got more and more encouraged and excited about the opportunity to speak to such a large audience. And it is my pleasure to offer my congratulations to all of you, to all the graduates of this prestigious university. You've all worked extremely hard to reach this point in your careers, and your accomplishments are a testament to your dedication, hard work, and perseverance. As you prepare to embark on the next chapter of your lives, I would like to reflect on the significance of this moment. Today marks not only the end of your current academic journey, but the beginning of a new phase of your life. The knowledge, skills, and experiences that you have gained during your time at Brack University will surely serve as a robust foundation for your future endeavors. As you think about your future, I urge you all to develop a sense of purpose and a long-term, lifelong vision of the contribution to the world that each of you want to make. Yes, in our own way, we can all make a difference, but it must start with a true desire to do so. Coming up with a lifelong goal will not happen overnight, and it will adjust it over time. But this is the right time for you all to think about this. It will drive your priorities and your choices. Let me share an example with you where having a long-term goal will make a real difference. Assume you're working somewhere and are somewhat unhappy and, are, and, 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 and has offered a new job elsewhere. How will you decide whether to take this opportunity or not? Some will just think of the money that they're getting. Others may just want to teach their current employer a lesson and just leave. If, however, you have developed a long-term vision of what you want to achieve in your life, and the difference that you want to make in the world, you may consider your choice differently. You may well decide to stay where you are. And the new offer, although more attractive, in some ways really doesn't help you achieve your purpose in life. Long term, this consideration will help you make many personal decisions. As you move forward, I encourage you all to remain committed to lifelong learning. The world is constantly changing, and it is essential to stay informed and adapt to new challenges. Whether you choose to pursue further education, enter the workforce, or pursue other paths, remember that learning never ends. Learn to modify the skills and expertise that you have developed and apply them to new situations. This will give you new perspectives on problems that you have to address. Over the past few years, you have, stem, you have spent time learning, analyzing, researching, and solving problems. You have learned how to think logically, to defend or make your case. These are valuable skills. The application of these skills will change over time, but the general processes are widely applicable. Please use them. Let me now discuss a unique opportunity that you have. I know many of you are thinking about being entrepreneurial, independently or working with or for others. In all cases, 
Please think of what you have here in Bangladesh. You have a large and massive potential market. In a single country with uniform laws and regulations, which you know better than anyone else. Whatever ideas you may have, apply it locally first. That will help you optimize your product and offering quickly, and you can achieve scale. This eventually will result in a better offering, potentially at a lower cost. I know going to a large established markets are often attractive, but please do not underestimate what you have right here. It may, well be, it may well be a far better first step and will position you to excel quickly abroad and at the same time make a significant difference locally. Let me touch now on another advantage that you all have your familiarity with the English language. Yes, it is indeed an advantage, and a strong one. The world's business is done largely in English. This is a potential advantage for you. Keep developing your skills. You will be able to communicate better and more comfortably. I mention this because in many countries, in fact, in most countries of the world, English is not the language of education. And I've seen many very highly talented people from many such countries handicapped as a result. You have an advantage here. Use it. And continue to improve your familiarity and usage of the language. Now, this doesn't mean for one minute that you should abandon your own native tongue or not be interested in it. Indeed, you should be. But English is the language of international business. You know it well. Please use it to your advantage. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, let me tell you about the most important values in your life, no matter what you do. These are your integrity, your personal integrity, and your personal honesty. What those words mean are very simple. It is something that we have been, we are all been taught since our childhood. Tell the truth and follow the law. It's as simple as that. Please always remember that in whatever you do, in whatever problem you're faced with, whatever issue you have to deal with, that will always come first and there is only one answer. Tell the truth, follow the law. It is truly critical that you follow this, this rigorously without compromise or even a suspicion of compromise. If in doubt about anything, simply ask those two questions to yourself. By doing so, believe me, you will never go wrong. This is a basic principle and you should certainly never tolerate anyone else who doesn't follow the simple but critical values of integrity and honesty. Please, let me repeat, never, never, ever, ever lose sight of those values. In closing, I'd like to offer my heartfelt congratulations once again to the graduates of BRAC You've achieved a significant milestone in your lives, and I'm confident that you will go on to achieve great things. May you continue to grow, to learn, and make a positive impact in the world. This is a, a unique occasion with thousands and thousands of people all receiving this convocation at the same time. It is a truly unique event. I'm so glad to be present here to present some of my thoughts to you. I wish you all the very best. Congratulations once again and the very best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you all very much.